Trade recap on Roku from October 13th and how I made 23% trading call options this day. Roku is definitely extended. I try to avoid continuously just chasing extended stocks to the upside, but when they set up, they provide opportunities and I kind of have to push my bias aside. So just looking at that daily chart, it kind of looks like a little bit of a flag pattern and the all-time high is 228.33 and Roku is incredibly strong. And then looking at the 30 minute, this is where I even thought my bias kind of got in my way. I was thinking, ah, below 220, Roku actually looks like it could possibly fill the gap. But price action told me otherwise on this day. This wasn't even on one of my main watches, but somebody in my little free Discord group that I created actually brought this to my attention and I ended up taking a nice trade on it. So just looking at the technicals, looks like a bit of a flag pattern on the daily, still very strong, trading just below all-time highs. I'm a big fan of continuously focusing on stocks that are trading right around all-time highs as long as the market is still holding up because they can provide some trade opportunities. When the technicals line up, when I have a clean technical pattern on the one-minute chart, and then I can try to find a clean entry and just take the quick move. So here's what Roku looks like. Took a little bit of a dip off the open. Below 220 looked like it could possibly fill the gap. I'll bet there were plenty of other people who saw the same thing. Maybe they were going for a Roku gap fill when it showed a little bit of weakness off the open. And like I always talk about, where others are positioned is key when it comes to trading and especially my trading. I like to try to take the other side of that. So when this thing failed to break down below 220 and Roku had a strong move, Look at the size of that move from the lows. Basically moved five points straight up. That lets me know that buyers are in control. And then I think that all-time highs are possibly in place. So the price action telling me otherwise compared to what I thought in my bias. Now what I'm trying to do is just wait for the clean technical pattern on the lower time frame like I always do. And as you can see Roku right here, it's starting to look like a flag pattern. And now I wanna see this continue to hold up, break that flag, and I'll give it a shot. And as you can see, I normally try to trade right around 10 contracts, but Roku's extended, not only on the daily chart, but it just had a huge move on the intraday chart, so I am trading only five. So I adjust my size accordingly. It's not just a every single trade I take the exact same amount, especially on something that's a little extended. I will trade smaller size, just for risk purposes. So if it doesn't work out, the loss isn't too big. So now just looking at Roku, this looks like a really good flag pattern. And knowing that high a day is 226.30, also knowing that all time highs is above, right around 228. So having the technical pattern and then two technical levels, high a day and all time high. And if I could critique myself on this trade, once again, I should have had a better entry. I think entering right around 226 and then risking off 225. So just giving it a point on smaller size than I normally do would have been a really good entry. Instead, I kind of waited. I waited for the tape to speed up a little bit and I got long right there. 226.40, right around that new high a day and then trying to hold out for that all-time high above. And I got filled at 512 on the options. And I want this to go relatively quickly. So I'm giving this to 225. Just go quick or get out. And now I'm just waiting for tape to start to speed up. It's not going that fast right now, but it's still holding up. Clean flag pattern. Also knowing that there's all-time highs above. And I feel like every time stocks are trading close to all-time highs, it's kind of a magnet to get there. Because I know I'm not the only one that sees it, whether it be algorithms, traders, just you know, names that have momentum and they're close to all-time high, I feel like they get going. And that was a really strong push from the open. So it just feels like, all right, in my head, I'm thinking, I think we have a chance to get there. Nice, clean flag. And when it breaks, my idea here is to try to hold out for all-time highs. And it's still just holding up. So here's a good example of it doesn't really go that quick. But once again, it isn't showing me any reason to get out. And if it continues to hold 225, then there's no reason for me to freak out. And it's above the nine, it's above the VWAP, it's above the 20. If anybody shorted from the morning, I think they're stuck. And as it goes higher, they'll want to get out. And then here we go. Very clean flag. Above 226.50, I think this will really start to get going.
And then I just want to see the tape speed up like always. So the technical pattern, match it with tape speed and also the level above all time high, 226.50. Tape's not really going that fast. Starts to speed up right there. So through 226.50, now I want to see it get through the whole numbers, whole and half numbers above. Just continuously get through them and I'll feel better about holding on. So through 227 is the next whole number above. Just want to see that get through 227. That was a really clean looking flag pattern. A lot of times when flags get tight and then they break, that can be the start of a nice move higher. I'm just hanging on. It's not giving me any reason to get out yet. And I want to see this get through 227. And not every single trade is going to have some super fast, speedy tape. Every now and then they kind of grind higher. Right at 227, some size there. Look at all those offers stacked. So now I'm thinking we get through 227 right through it. All those offers just got taken out. Tape's starting to speed up finally a little bit. 227. Got up to 227.20s, pulls back a bit. Still no reason to get out. I'm just floating around flat. Want to see this get above 227 and go. And the higher we get, the closer it is to all-time highs. And I feel there's an opportunity to get, to get there. 227.50, a little bit of size on the offer. Want to see it get through it. And I'm hanging right over the sell button. 227.70s, and I can see the green line on the chart. So visually, I want to hold out for that level. Got through 227.50, up to 227.80s. Tape starting to speed up. 228, whole number above. A little bit of size there. Want to see it get through it. Got through it. 228.30s, tape really starting to speed up. 228.60s, 70s, really starting to speed up. I just got a very nice move. And then the moment that this starts to slow down, I just want to get out of the trade because I got a very, very nice move on Roku. And I held out for that all-time high break. The tape kind of starting to slow down. And I just get out of the trade. I just get out of the trade. And as much as I wanted to continue to hold my winner, and especially for a new all-time high, I just got a little over a two-point move in only a handful of minutes. So even though there's the possibility that Roku may continue to go, I still stick to my rules of when I get that quick move, I just take it. And that quick trade ended up being a 23% return on my money because I bought five contracts at $5.12. So total cost of the trade to be involved was $2,560, made $590. That's that 23% return. That's the amazing thing with options is you don't need a ton of money to trade them, but you got to be experienced because if you don't know what you're doing, you can lose your money just as quickly as you can make it. So there's definitely pros and cons to trading options. Want to be educated before you consider trading them. And that was the only trade I took on Roku that day. And a good lesson to learn is regardless of what you believe it should do, I had the belief that maybe it could get below 220 and close the gap. Sometimes you have to take your bias out of the situation and let price action tell you what it wants to do. And once it had a dip in the morning and then ripped over highs and had a very big move, price action let me know that at least today it didn't want to close the gap. So I quickly switched my bias, waited for a nice technical pattern on the lower time frame had that major technical level above sized down a bit because it was extended on the daily in the intraday took the trade at a decent spot got the quick move and then just took those profits so that was a trade recap on roku hopefully you liked it thanks for watching and i'll see you later